Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Daisy and I do random stuff here on YouTube, I guess, or beauty stuff. But we're going to go ahead and jump on to the video. The video we have today is the review of the Beauty, Cre beauty Creation Flawless Stay Foundation. Um, I ended up purchasing the FS 5.0 color. Um, I had to take a wild guess just because where I tested out it was on my skin like right here and under behind of my hand and it actually blended really well so I saw it in the sun. Um, I'm going to enter the clips obviously but at first I felt it was a little bit too orangey for me but now seeing it like settled in and with the rest of my makeup I feel much better about it. Right now we're going to go out to eat and maybe I'm going to go shopping you know well not shopping because of COVID but um, maybe my necessities to Target or Walmart but I'm excited to try this. Uh, let's take it out so you guys can see it. As you can see the glass is really cute looking and does have a pump which I love and this foundation states um, to shake well it says it's a set and free which is to me that means a matte finish it's oil free hydrating long wear lightweight formula and it has vitamin E which I love I love how all the ingredients or all the things that it says it does are like right here um, in a list easy to read but so far, I'm not mad at it. I do like it a lot. I feel that it's like full coverage for me. It's just perfect. It's like it says medium to full coverage. But for now, I did one coat because obviously if you guys know, if you guys live in Bakersfield, you guys know that's a hundred and something outside and I don't want to be all tacky with my makeup outside. I'm going to put a setting spray in a minute because we're gonna go out i'll try to vlog during the day and give you my opinion at the end of the video so if you just want to try um if you just want to look and see how i applied it i'm gonna go ahead and start start the video now so okay so first off i was gonna do like a voice i wasn't gonna do a voiceover but then i realized like i was talking nonsense so i went ahead and primed my face first um i did use the benefit professional poreless primer from benefit here you can see I do the dot system on the foundation um, I did go ahead and use a brush I did use the morphe 439 brush which I love to start off for thick foundations and then I did finish it off with the beauty blender sponge from real techniques So I'll come back. I'm gonna, like I said, finish the rest of my face. Oh my God, I feel orangey. So here's the end result with all my makeup done. I was really happy with the results. I did feel that foundation did cover my imperfections. Okay guys, we're here. Um, we're in the car. We're on our way to go eat. We're gonna go to La Costa here in town. Um, that's like my favorite spot of the moment. But as you can see, the foundation looks good. Let me take off my shades. Um, it doesn't look as orangey as I thought. Sorry if it's too noisy, but we have the air on full blast due to being, I don't know how many degrees. How many? Just 101. Oh, oh just 101. It feels warm, but um, I could take a little bit hotter. That's fine with me. <laughs> Okay guys, so ya llegamos a la casa. Um, no fuimos al ma porque estaba cerrado. Sorry, I'm trying to find the best lighting I can. Pero, como les digo, no fuimos al ma. We didn't go to the ma. It was closed. Estaba cerrado. So, decidimos regresar a la casa. Since it's really hot. And Juliana thinks it's Halloween already. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on the foundation. To be honest, I did really like it a lot. Um, I feel that it wasn't melting like I thought it would since we were eating outside in the restaurant. Um, overall, I do feel really light and I don't feel too dry. So overall, I am going to keep using it obviously and I do like it. I'll give it a thumbs up. So that's it for now. I hope you guys like this short video and I'll see you till next time. Bye.